Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a quick unboxing video for a new mirrorless camera that I have bought which is Canon EOS R6. Now in the later part of the video I will cover the image scale of this camera versus my old 600D versus my cool astro camera from ZWO. But before that first let's unbox it quickly. Now the reason why I have chosen Canon is because previously I had owned Canon 600D and I had invested a lot in different lenses which obviously I do not want it to sell it off and start all over again in a new brand like Sony, Nikon etc. That's my primary reason why I went for Canon again. Now there was this lot of debate versus R5 versus R6. R5 no doubt is a very capable camera which has a much higher pixel count which is very good for landscape, portrait, wildlife photography. But I came across this very nice blog from a Canadian astrophotographer called Alan Dyer. He has reviewed both these camera extensively for astrophotography, nightscape, Milky Way photography, etc. The link of that review is down in the description. Now, once I went through that article, I was pretty much convinced that R6 was my main choice. Now, I also have invested in a cool monochrome camera. However, because some of the astro targets are of broadband in nature, which is better shot using a color camera. So I wanted to have this full frame mirrorless camera, which I will be using both for my landscape and day to day photography, as well as 4K 60p raw video plus color astro photography. Now I have bought only the body because for time being I will be using some of my older lenses using the EF to RF mount converter. However later I am planning to invest in some RF glass. <laughs> Now here you can see the image scale along with the field of view for particular focal length of my older 600D which is a crop sensor DSLR along with the new R6 mirrorless and also the cooled astronomical camera from ZWO.
Now you can clearly see uh, the wide field of view which the R6 provide unlike the other two cameras. And I will be extensively using R6 for some of the Milky Way and Nightscape photography along with some broadband images. However, at my present location, I have been having clouds for like six months and uh, <laughs> you know how I feel. So as soon as I get a chance, I will be testing all these three back to back and I will post some extensive reviews. Till then, keep watching, like, share, subscribe and clear skies. Bye bye.